Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, that guy from Team Niederdorf. You might be wondering why I'm coming in so loud and why I'm trying to have as much background noise as possible, almost. Well, it's because NVIDIA has come out with this new product called RTX Voice. It's an AI solution that removes background noise. Now, in my own limited testing, it doesn't do 100% of the job without introducing some artifacting, but it can definitely be used if done properly and not trying to test the software. The use case in which it failed me was I have my microphone where I set now completely up. My laptop fan's going as loud as you hear it now, and the AC was running. And at the very top end of my voice, you could hear a little bit of the hiss become artifacted, but otherwise it was a dead void. In a more controlled setting, as you'll hear, it's not as prevalent. So here's it with it on, and now I'm going to switch over. Okay, so I've just turned on the RTX voice software. And as you can hear, probably things are a lot quieter. My laptop fan and my breathing may be still picked up, but it is not showing up as high on my input as it should be for the volume I was at. And give you a listen of five seconds of room tone starting now after I breathe in. And now we're back to the normal audio source as you can hear, and here's five seconds of silence with that. So you tell me, does it do the job? Would you use this in your voiceover? Because honestly, if I dial back my gain a little bit and don't have me coming in as loud, I could definitely see this being used for voiceover without you maybe needing to treat your space as much. At least if you're doing narration and whatnot, I mean, we can do the loud test right now. Like, we can do, like, you know, attack the Titan and hear how much that echoes. Like, here, let me, let me back off. We can go, like, yes, focus on me. We can go, like, attack the Titan. Yeah, the what's up? Defend the Gold Fury. Enemies incoming. Grenade! We can hear all that reverberation of on my position now. Like we can hear how loud that is, but now let's do the same test, but like without adjusting levels or anything, I know I'm not adjusting my levels for actually shouting, but it's because I want to try to pick up as much as the echo as possible. Okay. So now we're back with the RTX voice and now we're going to do the same kind of lines, but with the software on and hear how much it kills. Attack the Titan! Defend the Gold Fury! Everybody on my position, now! Enemies incoming! Grenade! Alright, we're still on the RTX voice, but you tell me how much it helped. I'm not going to be able to see how badly this clipped on here, but it looked like it clipped pretty hard, so we'll see how it handles clipping as well. But from... The introduction I saw, you just hear the clipping. So, I'm going to edit this and then play the take side by side. Obviously, you'll have heard it, and it'll be new to me to see how it's heard. So, I know this is different than my reaction content, but I also stream on Twitch, and I figured this would be a good solution for me to get the audio up because in voiceover... I would have my gain set a lot lower than I have it right now, and then obviously compensate the difference with a little bit of software boosting, but not a lot. And then do back like isotope background elimination. But if I don't have to do as much touching my audio and just said, hey, this is me, like this is also probably going to be really good for sessions over Zoom or Skype, and it might help alleviate some at-home recording like I know Funimation has for example like home dubbing kits and you know having to mitigate all those different audio softwares maybe something like this would help 
you know, I don't know the particulars of how their dubbing kits work, but as an example of at-home recordings, that is a use where, hey, you know, they may not have the best treated space, they may not be able to have a whisper room in present time, you know why, but something like this could help, and for a lot of beginner voice actors, like, I'm saying this as if I have, like, a whole bunch of experience, if you look me up, you're not going to find anything in my demo, <laughs> and maybe, like, one or two things on YouTube, but I digress. For those of you who didn't invest as much or are just getting started in doing this as a hobby hobby and not trying to pursue this full time, you know, the Blue Yeti has that huge background noise, like a lot. And then I know when I was first getting into this, like now back on the Scarlet after my house fire, like the preamp introduces some noise. And I know once you have your own signal chain running, your noise floor can lower for background noise, like the self noise inherently in everything. But this might also help mitigate some of that and just get you pure, crisp audio, which is what you want. So if you enjoyed this video and want to hear more about some VO gear tech stuff, because I've definitely spent the last couple of years whether it be between YouTube or trying to do voiceover professionally, getting into all the gear and audio. If you want more gear and audio videos, I'll be happy to do that. If you want to watch me make like a Twitch layout or something that's like really crazy, I'm more than happy to do that too. Um, I don't have RTX Voice, I think, set up on my newest live scene, but uh, you guys are uh, definitely in for a treat. Also for this section of the video, uh, I forgot I had muted the audio source thinking I was going to do this video there. So this is just to get a sense of the layout. So until next time, thank you for watching my video. If you want to subscribe to me on Twitch or follow me on Twitch, you can at twitch.tv slash team underscore Niederdorf. And until next time, bye bye